Hi everyone, welcome back to Photography by Harrison. Now, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the phrase, you need to stop and smell the roses. What that means is sometimes you need to slow down, look at the wonders and the sights around you. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm off Cone Boulevard in Greensboro, and I'm going to take you back through time and take you back in history as we talk about this wonderful mural on the wall as, that is American history. So with that, Come along with me, and I'll see you on the other side. If you listen, the mural will come alive and talk to you. And our narrator for this story will be George Big G, the artist's grandfather, a cowboy, and a bull rider from Lexington, Kentucky. I will tell you short stories of ten American heroes and one villain. The rest I will let you find out on your own. George Fletcher a wounded World War I veteran. In 2006, he was inducted into the National Multicultural Western Heritage Museum and Hall of Fame in Fort Worth, Texas. And he participated in his very first rodeo in 1910 in Pendleton, Oregon. The Buffalo Soldiers, you probably heard of them and their battles with the Native Americans on the Western Plains. But did you also know they protected the settlers, stagecoaches, wagon trains, and railroad crews along the Western Front. Mary Fields, she was the first black postal carrier in the U.S. and the oldest woman to ever take the job at 63. For eight years, she carried a U.S. mail, and she was so reliable through any kind of weather. That's how she got her nickname, Stagecoach Mary. And she would tell you she packed two six guns and a shotgun. And like she said, and she wasn't afraid to use them. Ellis Mountain Man Harris, a member of the Federation of Black Cowboys, who are working hard to keep the cowboy culture alive, even in major cities like New York City, and also to let America know that all the cowboys of the Old West, some of them did not make the history books. Nate Deadwood Dick Love, one of the most famous cowboys of the Old West that was somehow left out of the history books. He was famous for his roping, riding, and horse riding skills. His name Deadwood is a, is a reference to a literary character by Edward Wheeler, one of the novelists at the time. If you want to know more about him? We'll pick up his book, The Life and Adventures of Nate Love. Remember at the beginning, I told you we had ten heroes and one villain? Well, this is the villain. He was born in 1849. His name then was Ned Hutchison. But he changed his name to Ism Dart. He was famous for his bronco riding horse busting skills and his roping skills. But guess what? He was also a notorious horse thief and rustler. This man you might have heard of, Bill Pickett, the man credited with inventing bulldog or steer housing at his call today. He entertained millions of people around the world with his riding and roping skills. He had two nicknames at the time, the Dusty Demon and the Bulldogger. You want to know how he got him? Well, pick up a book and read about him. Remember earlier how I told you about Ellis Mountain Man Harris being a member of the Federation of Black Cowboys? Well, this is Keisha Morris, the first female president of the Federation of Black Cowboys. I know the question you're asking, well, how do you ride a horse in New York City? Well, go read about her. Then you will know. This man, Dwight Man Sr., I'm not going to butcher his first name by trying to say it. He was a bull rider, and he was inducted into the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame in 1997. And in 1967, he became the first black cowboy to be ranked the number one bull rider in the country. He also appeared in a prominent commercial and some movies. Which one? Well, I know, but I want you to go read about him. The last person on our tour is a woman you will want to know more about, Bridget Biddy Mason. She was born a slave in Mississippi in 1818, but when her current owner moved to slave-free California in 1856, she petitioned the court for her freedom and that of her extended family of 13 and 1. But this is just a small part of this amazing woman. You need to read more about her. Matter of fact, you need to read more about all these heroes and the villain on the wall. Because this is America's history. Yes, they might be brown like me, but make no mistake about it. This is America's history. 
like what you saw today, put a, put a comment below. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button. If you don't like what you saw today, leave a comment. I don't mind because that might inspire me to go out and do more videos that you will like. Because I've said it before and I will say it again. No one knows it all when it comes to photography. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And I will see you next time.